Hi, um, I thought today I, I'd show you how to paint birds, which are actually quite a lot easier than you would think. So if you come this way, um, if, if you remember in the last video, I showed you how to do this background and what I would advise you is to do the background first, because um, if you spend all this time doing a lovely bird, you won't want to put a background on and a background's really nice. Otherwise, it just looks a little bit dull. So here we are, you've got something like a robin and the good thing about birds is they break down into sections. So what you're looking for is fluffy bits right there and there. Can you see it's quite kind of fluffy, um, a fluffy head, fluffy um, body here. Um, and then it's got quite hard edged areas here at the tail, certainly there and the feet, the beak and the eye. So it's quite easy really because you break it all down into simple manageable sections. So I'm going to do... Um, I'll do this bit first. What I think is underneath um, uh, the plumage, you've got a slight sort of bluish tinge and then you've got a kind of a brownish feathers on the top of that. So I'm going to paint that in one go. There is a different way of doing it and I'm going to show you that on the breast, but let's just start with this way first. So what I've mixed up is a bit of ultramarine blue. Now, because it's fluffy, we need to um, use wet paper. So I'm just going to uh, wet the paper I'm not absolutely soaking it. Wet it there. And I'll wet a little bit more than I'm actually going to paint, otherwise we get hard edge. And I'm trying to do the underneath plumage, which is just a bit of ultramarine blue. And you want to paint in the contour of the bird, not straight. A bird's kind of nice and fluffy and, and rounded. So paint rounded like that. And that would probably do just to put, kind of give it an underneath quite a plumage. Then what I've done, I've mixed up burnt sienna and ultramarine blue. And if Tarantino here, here would just look down. So I want something like that. So there's my burnt sienna. You see, it's just a bit too strong, a bit too brown. Add a tiny touch of ultramarine blue and it gives me a darkish brown. Right, that'll do. Um, this isn't dry, so I can go straight in and again, I'm just flicking the paint on and it's going to give me this kind of lovely, soft, downy sort of effect. And you can see there's still the bit of blue underneath. I'm managing to avoid um, too much of a hard edge at, um, at the back there. So that really is all I would need to do for the back of the bird. If it starts to give you a bit of a hard edge, this is just now a damp brush and I just whiz it around the edge so it just softens that edge there. Can you see that? Um, which means I can then do that bit at a separate um, time because otherwise it gets a little bit kind of scary. Right, so let's just finish off that. Now, ideally, I would like that to be totally dry before I do the next bit, but um, let's just do the next bit anyway. So this is, as I was explaining to you on here, this is where it's completely um, hard edge. So I can do that, it's really easy. I can do that on dry paper. So again, I'm just using the ultramarine blue and the burnt sienna. And all I have to do is just paint that kind of thing. And I can paint it, you can go a bit slower than this, a bit more carefully than this, but something like that. And that's so you've got the contrast between this very, very hard edged um, painting and this lovely soft stuff here. Now, so in this, I did the blue, the underneath plumage at the same time as doing the um, top plumage. You can actually do it separately. If you look really, really, really close here, can you see I've put a little layer of um, yellow ochre. I've just flicked it on on wet paper, this yellow ochre, and I've let that dry. Right, this is just to show you that if you paint watercolour, you can let it dry and then paint on top. So again, this not, can you see it's not disturbing the underneath? So I'm just re-wetting the paper um, and not disturbing the underneath. Now I've got to be very careful because I need to go around the eye because otherwise we get a fluffy eye. Sounds like a medical condition, fluffy eye. Um, so I'll just go around that. But now that's all wet. So any paint I go on is going to go nice and soft. So I've mixed up um, cadmium red. Now remember if cadmium red, if your red is too intense, add green, tiny bit green. Let me see what it does. It just takes the redness off. Don't add black, don't add grey, add its complementary opposite. Red and green make... Um, you see, it's just slightly dulled it down. Right, go into this, and can you see, again, lovely and soft and fluffy. Um, if it 
if the paint starts to dry, it'll start to go hard edge, which you don't want. I don't really want it to run into that. Ideally, that should be dry, but for um, I haven't got time to. Well, you'd be bored if I sat here with the uh, for half an hour waiting for it to dry. And again, just take it round there. And this this is all kind of fluffy. So can you see I'm building him up in sections? Now, if you don't want to see how he's got a hard edge there, if you don't want a hard edge along the top, damp brush, just wiggle your brush around the top and you get a kind of a soft edge there. So you can see how he's building up. Now, if I take you back to this, so um, do the same there, let that dry and wet this area here. I've got a bit of blue, a bit of yellow ochre and a bit of burnt sienna written the colours here for you um, and when that's dry do the head and when those dry you can just paint in the feet and the eye and the um, beak and it's that easy so thank you very much for watching and um, goodbye